won the toss deferred Michigan will receive Roman Wilson is the deep man for the Wolverines. Hawkeyes Wolverines and we're underway from Iowa City. And this ball kicked out of the end zone for a touchback and that'll bring on J.J. McCarthy first down and 10 at the 25 for Michigan. And they'll hand it off straight ahead. This is Coram. He'll pick up about four yards on the play. Remember Coram last week against Maryland 30 carries 243 yards and two touchdowns second and six at the 29. Coram again looking for daylight and he has some room and he'll pick up the first down after a gain of seven. First down and 10 at the 36 McCarthy timing pattern has his man Roman Wilson gets out of bounds as he crosses the 42 and one thing about this Michigan offense they've got some speed at the receiver position they absolutely do and that's one thing that you get the sense that they're going to be able to take advantage of at times this season is the ability to get vertical and use J.J. McCarthy's arm to get down the field second down and three at the 43 opening series for the Wolverines major challenge for sophomore quarterback J.J. McCarthy making his first career road start here's McCarthy and he'll run it himself tucks it up gets outside and goes out of bounds close to midfield McCarthy on the season is rushed for 78 yards and he has one rushing touchdown first down and 10 at the 49 here's McCarthy sprints out of the pocket tries to square his shoulders throws on the run and he has his man at the 36 nicely done Roman Wilson going up high in front of Cooper DeGene. Hits the sideline hard and goes down at the 35. Picks up a couple. Second and seven at the 34. And here's a handoff straight ahead. Blake Corm slashing his way through. Gains six yards for the Wolverines. This series started at their own 25. This is the eighth play of the drive. Corm remains in the backfield. With McCarthy, low snap handled. They give it to Coram, looking for the first down, and he has it. First down and 10 at the 26. Wilson in motion. McCarthy looks that way, he throws it, and incomplete. That ball intended for Ronnie Bell. Looks like Ronnie Bell wanted that ball in front of him, but it was a back shoulder throw. Donovan Edwards in motion in the backfield. Here's Edwards on the run. Huge hole, breaks it back and goes down. Close to the 15 yard line should be enough for first down. Here's the reverse. They get around the corner with Ronnie Bell. Ronnie Bell touchdown Wolverines. 16 yards. Michigan marches it right down the field on their opening series. And Ronnie Bell punches it in with a 16 yard reverse for a score. 11 plays, 75 yards, Wolverines up 6-0. I mean, what a great job on the outside. First, you're going to see Cornelius Johnson, number six. He's got a great block on Riley Moss. And then Schoonmaker, 86. There's the block late. Boom. He gets Quinn Schulte, the, the safety, and he springs Ronnie Bell for the touchdown. Jake Moody, the Groza Award winner from a season ago, in for the extra point, and it's good. So Jake Moody sends it away for the Wolverines. Caleb Johnson is the deep man. And he has it inside his own 10. Trying to get to the sideline, but tracked down at the 20. And will go down around the 21-yard line. First down and 10 of the 21. LaShawn Williams in the backfield. He'll give it to him. He's got some room. And LaShawn Williams gets inside the 35 and gains five. Second down and five at the 26. And they'll hand it off again. Caleb Johnson this time. He's a big back, six feet, 212, gains a yard. Gavin Williams in the backfield now for the Hawks. Petrus out of the gun. He'll throw it. Here's Petrus to the sideline and incomplete. That ball intended for his tight end, Sam Laporta. Mike Sainra still covering defensively. And it's amazing what Sainra still has done. So Torrey Taylor, the punter, he's one of the best, if not the best in America. Punting from inside his own 10. A.J. Henning is back. He ran one back. 
earlier this year against Connecticut. He'll start from the 21 and get chopped down immediately. Great special teams play. Corm in the backfield. Michigan marched it right down the field on their opening series with the Ronnie Bell reverse for a touchdown. From 16 yards, McCarthy over the middle. And it's caught at the 31-yard line. McCarthy did a nice job last week using his tight ends. Here's Luke Schoonmaker with his first catch of the day. Schoonmaker getting a lot of burn with Eric All out with an injury. And Corum over the right side. Positive yardage for Corum. McCarthy underneath again, and he has Schoonmaker. So here's a handoff, Corum. And Corum turns it up, gets across the midfield line. And McCarthy will give it away again to Corum. Corum pushing the pile forward, and he may have another first down. First down to the 45. McCarthy slipping, and he'll go down. Looks like he may have tripped over the foot of either one of his offensive linemen or Corum. I think Zach Zinter, 65, the right guard, stepped with his left foot and just caught J.J. McCarthy. McCarthy out of the gun. McCarthy hit as he throws underneath to Donovan Edwards. Not a lot of room. Great pursuit, great gang tackling led by Seth Benson. Merriweather there also. Well, they brought the pressure there, trying to get the ball out of McCarthy's hands as quickly as possible. I would expect that again from this Phil Parker-led defense for Iowa. When they get into long yardage passing situations, they love to pressure the quarterback in order to make him make a quick decision and get the ball out of his hands. Fans starting to get into it now for the Hawkeyes. Third down and 12 at the 47. Donovan Edwards checks back in. He's great receiving the ball. Here's McCarthy. Scrambles out of the pocket. Makes a move. Cuts it up. Not enough for the first down. Tripped up by Jay Higgins after a three-yard gain. So Michigan has a decision to make. Do they punt it or try a long field goal? Brad Robbins, one of the best punters in the Big Ten, standing at his own 42. Arlen Bruce is the deep man inside his own 10 for Iowa. End over end kick. See if this one has some English on it, if it bounces. And it doesn't, but Bruce with the fair catch. Iowa takes over at the nine. First down and ten for Spencer Petrus. And Petrus over the right side. Williams. Williams leans forward, picks up about three yards. Here's Petrus rolling out. Petrus looking, dumps it, and incomplete. Flag on the play. He was looking for Brody Brecht, number 14. Prior to the pass, holding defense number 19. 10-yard penalty, automatic first down. Here's Petrus over the middle, and he's got his receiver. Lachey, huge gain as he crosses the 45 and picks up 25. R.J. Moten with the tackle. First and 10 at the 48. And they'll give it to Johnson. And Johnson will get a yard on the play before being knocked backwards. Maybe two. Mason Graham defensively for the Wolverines. I really like this defensive line. Play action. Petrus rolling out. Dumps it down. Has Laporta. And Laporta looks like he'll get that first down. Michael Barrett knocks him out of play. First and 10 at the 42. Petrus over the middle, incomplete. He had his man. That would have been Lachey. Second and 10. Petrus sprints out, throws on the move, and another high throw. Third down and 10 at the 42. Empty backfield for Petrus. Here's Spencer Petrus, wants to throw it over the middle. And incomplete, Laporte of the target. Great defense, Makari Page, number seven there. And Iowa will have to punt it away. Watch this, they're gonna double cover the tight end. Why? Because they know that Iowa loves to go to the tight end 
on third downs. He's double covered and still Petrus wants to go there and then there's the pressure right when he lets go of the ball. Mozzie Smith that's 337 pounds coming down on your chest. So Iowa turned away. Torrey Taylor punting it from the 44. And this one trickles into the end zone for a touchback. First and 10 at the 20 for Michigan. McCarthy and Corm. Corm the pistol back. And they'll give it to him running left this time. And Blake Corm gains five. And that should take us to the end of the first quarter. Second down and five. Here's McCarthy to the sideline. Nice timing pattern. Can we make that Ronnie Bell with the catch? He gets out of play, picks up a first down, a gain of nine yards. And that's what this deep. Second down. And five. Here's McCarthy to the sideline. Nice timing pattern. Can we make that Ronnie Bell with the catch? He gets out of play, picks up a first down, a gain of nine yards. First down and ten at the 34. And Donovan Edwards. Nice catch out of the backfield. Chased out by Jay Higgins and explosive plays, folks. And I'm talking to my mom. Mom, an explosive play is 20 or more yards. Second and three at the 41. No 25 yards plays for Michigan so far. Donovan Edwards. First down, Wolverines. Donovan Edwards. Feels like it's almost time for McCarthy to take a shot down the field. And he'll hand it off. Edwards. Wow. Nice burst. First down. DeGene with the tackle. But he'll gain 12. Maybe not. I would get caught here with their vision in the wrong spot. That's the outside linebacker and he's looking all over the wide receivers trying to look him up. Didn't have his eyes inside. That's Seth Benson. He's got to be aware of that run game fit so he can come up and help support in the run game which he wasn't able to do. First down to the 42. Corum back in. Three receivers at the top of your screen. Cornelius Johnson at the bottom. McCarthy with time. Unloads. McCarthy! Oh, overthrown again. He had Roman Wilson wide open. He missed three big ones like that last week against Maryland. Corum with daylight. Corum spun down. Noah Shannon with the tackle for Iowa, but it's a gain of seven. Corum looking for the first hops through the hole and I don't know it'll be close to, depending on the spot looks like he needs to get all the way to that 32 yard line but they're so close I think that either way and it does look like it's just a bit short they're going to stay on the field offensively and go for it here on fourth down Corum trying to go up and over a good push from that offensive line just not quite enough and now here we go fourth down. Fourth down and one at the Iowa 33. Michigan up seven zip. Corum remains in the game. Corum on the give, and it's a first down, Michigan. Tenth play of the drive. First down at the 30. Edwards skipping. Pick up two. Shannon to tackle. Michigan already with 102 yards rushing. Second and eight at the 28. McCarthy, quick fire this time. Underneath, Roman Wilson with the grab, and he got crunched. Cooper DeGean, four yard gain. And here comes the option. Corum caught and knocked down behind the line of scrimmage. That's Captain Jack right there, folks. Captain Jack Campbell, first team, all Big Ten linebacker. Moody tied a career high last week at home against Maryland with a 52-yarder. Clean snap, good hold, Jake Moody. And it's good. 
Football in 60 is presented by Rocket Mortgage. For the playbook on home loans, Rocket can. First down for the Hawkeyes. Let's see if they can get this offense moving. As a Petrus rolls out of the pocket, he'll dump it down to Laporta. And Laporta will get eight yards. Williams crosses the line of scrimmage. He's close to that first down marker. First down and 10 of the 35. Yeah, second man through Johnson. Caleb Johnson with a huge hole. And Caleb Johnson gains 18 yards. That Ira offensive line starting to fire off the ball, but there is a flag on the play. Yeah, that one's all the way back. Holding offense number 67, 10 yard penalty. Repeat first down. First down and 20. Petrus looking. Petrus moving his feet in the pocket. Nicely done. And he completes it to Brecht for first down. And this is Johnson. First down. First and 10 at the 46. And they'll give it to Johnson again. Bounces it outside. Flag on the play. And Johnson goes out of bounds. Close to the 45, Rod Moore, the safety, ushering him out of play. Personal foul, clipping, offense number 77, 15-yard penalty, repeat first down. Well, they're going to go right here. They're, this is what they're going to call, and this is Connor Colby, really good offensive lineman. Watch as he's going to go, and he's just going to chop down the defensive lineman. I mean, I, I, I honestly, I don't think that's a penalty. You can do that. He's he's starting inside the tackle box. There, he can get him from the side there on an initial charge, and that's the key is on an initial charge, which that certainly was. That's a stretch zone, and. That, well, they're second of the half. And I think that's why Iowa is calling a timeout. I, Kirk Ferentz wants an explanation, and he should try to get it. Michigan with a 10 to nothing lead. Iowa with the football, first and 25 at their own 31. Petrus, sideline, high throw, but caught. LaShawn Williams running it. Pick up two from the 44. Gavin Williams in it running back. Petrus drops it off. Williams a screen, but he goes nowhere. What a job. Taylor Upshaw. Tory Taylor comes back in to punt. Iowa having a problem moving the ball on these Wolverines. Tory Taylor. He'll punt it from the 25. Line drive punt this time. Henning with it at the nine. Tries to get outside. Still on the move. And A.J. Henning. What really is TikTok? Is that like Instagram? Is that like Twitter? I don't know, man, but they all watch it all day. They do. <laughs> I know that I heard that they all got the kids. Some, some good dances on there. <laughs> First down and 10 of the 22. McCarthy swings it out to Corm in the flats. He'll cross the line of scrimmage and pick up positive yards. I do have a TikTok. No dancing, Gus, but I'm going to probably get you on there later, so be ready. <laughs> All right. Did they, do you have to pay for it? Oh, no, no, no. It's free. <laughs> okay. Second and two. That means it's for me. And they <laughs> hand it off. Corum. I knew that was coming. First down. I knew that, I knew that was coming right there. I'm going to have to get on TikTok. Is that what you... That's what I'm going to give Don't te Listen, uh, people hit me up on Twitter all the time. They're like, where's Gus? Get Gus on Twitter. <laughs> Those people are mean on Twitter. I can mess with them. <laughs> Get on TikTok where it's all like rainbows and dances. There you, you go. Know? That's <laughs> my kind of stuff. Rainbows. Bobby pins and jelly beans. First down and 10 at the 33. Wolverines up 10-0.
J.J. McCarthy slings it. Corm out of the backfield. One yard gain. Seth Benson with the tackle. Second and nine at the 34. And they'll hand it off to Corm. Corm churning his legs backwards. It'll pick up the first down. Joel, sure, what's the difference in college football now? Guys rarely ever take the snap from under center. Why is that? Well, it's just the nature. I mean, that's the same in the NFL as well. When you really look and you break it down, you know, 65, 70 percent of snaps are taken from the shotgun. And I think it's the nature of the sport in order to get completions quickly made on the exterior of the defense. And they're a deep shot down. And got it. Finally got one down the field. Guys. Nicely done. Andrew Anthony. And McCarthy will get out of bounds with under a minute to go. And a flag. Holding. Offense number zero. Ten yard penalty. Repeat first down. That's Darius Clemens, the true freshman from Portland, Oregon. And he's on the outside and right in your Middle of your screen holding Cooper DeGene clearly has a hold of his jersey as McCarthy is trying to get out to the outside and that'll back the Wolverines up. McCarthy hit as he throws incomplete. This is the 20th play in Iowa territory for Michigan. Second and 17. McCarthy underneath and it's incomplete again. Ronnie Bell the target and a late flag throw. They're going to get Castro here. Pass interference. Defense number 29. The ball be placed at the spot of the foul. Automatic first down. And that's Castro. Well, they're trying to get this inside slant route. You can see Ronnie Bell is trying to get there, and then that left hand just kind of there. Don't agree with the call. Iowa fans don't agree with the call. I felt like he went up and over the wide receiver, and that gives him an automatic first down. And Clearly this sideline not happy with what's going on with this officiating crew. They have missed some offensive line calls. They missed the holding on Hayes and that one right there. I did not feel like that was pass interference. Michigan is in Jake Moody field goal range. First down at the Iowa 29. McCarthy with the handoff to Corum. And Corum another burst. Jack Campbell with the tackle. He gains eight. And it's Corum. Almost popped that one through. Seth Benson with the tackle. First down at the six. So from a passing game perspective, what kind of stuff do you want to run when you get this close? Well, when you get down here, what you're trying to do is put the second level in conflict. A little play action and get right behind them. Here's McCarthy rolling out. Side arms it. Caught at the 11 by Roman Wilson. Second and seven of the 12. McCarthy. Looking side arms it inside the five incomplete Schoonmaker was the target. And the play clock winds down. Play a game. Offense. Five yard penalty. Remains third down. And he's got to get that ball snapped immediately. Third down and 12. They snap it in time. McCarthy off his back foot to the corner. Batted up and incomplete. Roman Wilson, the intended receiver, but Sebastian Castro was there defensively for the Hawkeyes. On the right hash. High snap, kicked. And good. Jake Moody, two for two. Caleb Johnson, the deep man, lets it go over his head for a touchback. Hawkeyes will get the ball to start the second half. And they fake a knee. Not a lot there, and that should take us to the end of the first half, and it does. Deshaun Williams running. Caleb Johnson, the deep man, as Moody sends it away. And Moody kicks this one into the end zone for a touchback. All right, first down and 10 of the 25. Here's Petrus to throw it on first down. In trouble, and he'll take the sack. Spencer Petrus goes down. Mason Graham 
with the sack for the Wolverines. This is a great pass rush from a young defensive lineman, in particular an interior defensive lineman. It takes strength to do this, folks. And what you're going to see from Mason Graham is he stands up and he gets Nick Dijon on his heels and then he pulls him forward. It's push-pull technique. And then he is there in the face of Spencer Petrus before he can pull the trigger and throw it down the field. So that's a loss of nine. Second and 19. Petrus will throw it again. Over the middle on the check down. Williams. And he'll get to the 25. Petrus hit as he throws and incomplete. No flags on the play. Harrell in coverage. Brecht was the intended receiver at the 10 yard line. A.J. Henning is the deep man. Henning over to the sideline. Signals for the fair catch and has it at the 32. First down and 10 at the 33 yard line. And they'll hand it off to Corum. We'll crash through. You know, my father was a big loving the punter guy. He thought it was the greatest defensive play in all of football. He would say, son, when in doubt, punt and rely on your defense. Now, was that a football philosophy or a life? No, that was a life philosophy. <laughs> <laughs> he used to win the Ray Guy Award in our house every year. You know, daddy punted on that one. Oh, that's great. There you go. I cheer for the punter. There's the shirts you see around here. Second down at six at the 37. And Coram. Corum quietly is racking up some major yardage today, folks. Third down and one at the 42, and he'll pick up the first down. Here's McCarthy to throw it to the sideline. Schoonmaker turns it up. Nice run by Luke Schoonmaker. Seth Benson with a tackle. That's a gain of 18 yards. First down at the 37. And here's the option. They throw it out wide. Cornute making Ronnie Bell. And Ronnie Bell plows his way forward. And he'll pick up a first. Boy, good decision from J.J. McCarthy right there. He comes out. That's this new modern triple option. So he's got the run option right there. Then he can run it if he wants. So he's going to get this. You know, So he's got the run play right here. He can give that. Now he's going to go ahead and keep it. He can run it if he wants. But you see Jack Campbell sitting there defending him. So he throws it out on his third option to Ronnie Bell, who makes a nice run. And we continue to see him as a healthy player. Boy, he's explosive this year, fast and strong. Gain of 10, first down at the Iowa 27 for the Wolverines. And this may be the toughest defense, aside from Ohio State, that they'll face. They get it off in time. No, they say it is a delay of game, Michigan. Second time they've the done that. Timeout, Michigan, the first of the half. Okay, Michigan does get the timeout. 10-26 to play in the third. Michigan facing a first and 10. At the Iowa 27, can they get touchdowns and not settle for field goals is the question. Corn can't get outside. Turns it back up. And he'll pick up two, maybe three. Jack Campbell with the tackle. Here's McCarthy. Sideline, schoolmaker again. He'll get out of bounds with a first down. At the 15, straight ahead handoff. Not a lot of room this time for Donovan Edwards. No gain. Blake Corum preparing to go over 100 yards in consecutive games for the first time since the first three games of last year. That's a two-yard pickup. Donovan Edwards in the backfield with J.J. McCarthy. Low snap handled by McCarthy. He'll sprint out, turns the corner, throws, caught. Touchdown, Wolverines, Donovan Edwards. McCarthy making chicken salad, and the Wolverines extend their lead. 19 nothing. Moody in to attempt the extra point. Now you're starting to hear the Boo Birds here at Kinnick Stadium, not happy with the way the Hawkeyes are playing. Extra point good, 20 to nothing. Football in 60 is presented by Rocket Mortgage. For the playbook on home loans, Rocket can. All 
Iowa now will start at the 25. And what a huge play that was because now doesn't it feel so much different right 16 you feel like it's two possessions 20 to nothing and you feel like this offense has got to put it in gear immediately. And will hand it off Caleb Johnson with a hole. Johnson picks up a first down a little bit more. Longest run of the day for Iowa first and 10 of the 37. Johnson again trying to squeeze through not this time. Two yard gain. The port of the motion man. Johnson will stretch it out left side. Gets past the line of scrimmage. Flag on the play. He'll go down. You know, Nico Regani came in from all the way on the outside and, and he blocked the safety, I believe it was, kind of in the in the back, in the side, and I think that's what they're gonna call here. Personal foul, blindside block, offense number 89, 15-yard penalty, repeat second down. So that'll make it second down and 21 at the Iowa 26. And Sean Williams in the game, now at running back, spelling Caleb Johnson. We'll reset the play clock to 25 seconds, second down. Second and 21 at the 26. Petrus winds up. Almost intercepted. Wow, DJ Turner couldn't hold on to it. Third down and 21 at the 26. Petrus in trouble. And he's sacked again. This time it's Mike Morris, the senior from Belgrade, Glade, Florida. Another sack for the Wolverines. Well, he's going to come first knock into the center right there. He's trying to free up his teammate, but in the process, frees himself up. And Mike Morris is there with another sack. And he's the type of guy that they talked about to us this week. And they thought, hey, one of the guys we can get going from a pass rush perspective is number 90, Mike Morris. And there he is showing up with a sack. So Torrey Taylor has to put it inside his own five. A.J. Henning is the deep man. Henning with it, with some room, and A.J. Henning crosses the 40, flag on the play, DeGene with the tackle on special teams. During the return, illegal block in the back, return team number 28, 10-yard penalty from the spot of the foul, first down. First down and 10 of the 21, McCarthy. And that's Donovan Edwards. Donovan Edwards just gives him so much. He is such a versatile offensive player. McCarthy hit as he throws. He'll chase it down. Should be an incompletion. Edwards with the recovery. And it was a... Rolling on the field is a fumble by the offense. Recovered by the offense. It was a fumble. Well, he gets hit as he's trying to release this ball. It's just a matter of whether that hand was coming forward. It was certainly coming forward. Yeah, I thought it was as well. But it was backwards nonetheless. Even if they deemed that his hand was moving forward, then it was a backwards pass and then still would be a fumble. So it doesn't really matter what was going on in his hand. That ball is live, and Donovan Edwards was able to go recover it. Great hustle play by Edwards. Third down and 27. And Michigan will just give their punter some breathing room as they run it. Wagner with the tackle. Brad Robbins punting near the back of his own end zone. Arlen Bruce hovering around the 40-yard line. Robbins, no pressure. And this one out of bounds near the 40, a 36-yard punt. This will be Iowa's fourth play in Michigan territory. Johnson lowering his shoulders. Second and four at the 38. Johnson cuts it back short of the first down. Mason Graham defensively for the Wolverines. It starts here on a, on a third and short. You've got to bow up that offensive line and go get this first down. Make sure you move the chains before you can maybe build yourself into a, a bigger play call and take advantage of something down the field.
Third and one. Out of the eye. Williams the deep man. Play fake. Petrus lobs it. He's got his man. Potterbaum. And Potterbaum with a nice gain. D.J. Turner with the tackle. First down, 17-yard reception. First down and 10 of the Michigan 18. 58 seconds remaining in the third quarter. Petrus guns it. Incomplete. Here's Petrus to throw it again. He's got his man wide open. It's Reganey, and Reganey will crash down inside the five, loses his helmet, and a flag on the play. Personal foul. Unnecessary roughness. Offense number 65. 15-yard penalty. Repeat second down. That's a center, Logan Jones. Number nine of Iowa lost his helmet on the play. Must leave the game for one down. So watching the background here, as you've seen Reganey going, and there's the takedown, 65, Logan Jones going to the ground, and that's Mike Sainrasil that he's fighting with right there. Sainrasil was blitzing from his nickel position, and that's the takedown in the back end as Reganey loses his helmet on his way to the ground. And how many times have we seen today? Gus, I swear, it's every single big play that Iowa has. There's laundry on the field, and it's coming back because of usually an offensive line miscue. Petrus underneath route and this is caught by Arlen Bruce but not much there he gained three yards maybe four third and 22 and he'll get it off here's Petrus Nice throw, first down, Reganey. Out of bounds at the two-yard line. A 28-yard game. As we're headed to the fourth quarter, best offensive play for Iowa. More importantly, Gus, no flags on the play. though trying to get it in the end zone and they do touchdown Caleb Johnson and the Hawkeyes are finally on the board Drew Stevens in for the extra point and it's good seven plays covering 44 yards Caleb Johnson looks like they found their running back of the future So Michigan starts at their own 25, first down. Corum skipping, and Corum caught right at the line of scrimmage. Ethan Herkett with the tackle, and it's a two-yard game for the Wolverines. Donovan Edwards in the backfield. Here comes a blitz. Michigan picks it up near side. Ronnie Bell leans forward, and he's a yard short. Of the first down, Sebastian Castro with the tackle. Third down and one at the 34. Look at them all up there at the line of scrimmage, Gus. All the Hawkeyes right there at the line of scrimmage. Blake Corum returns. And they'll give it to Corum, and he will not get it. Blake Corum will not get the first down. The Iowa defense holds. They tried to snap it quickly. But the Hawkeye says, ah! The crowd back into this game after Michigan took the air out of the stadium in the first half. Robbins. And they'll take a Michigan bounce and be downed at the 17. Second man through, and he'll get to the line of scrimmage and go backwards. See, it's, it's not open in the interior Gus they can't run right at those defensive tackles and that's like a throwaway first down call Brian Ferentz has got to build on the success that he had earlier in the game the only thing that's worked in the run game is those wide stretch plays so that's where you've got to stay call the wide stretch play and then throw a play action off of that action second down and nine of the 18 
You sound like a coach sometimes. You, you thinking about it? <laughs> I don't know. What's open? <laughs> Here's Petrus rolls out on the move and nice throw. Great catch. Nico Regani. Regani, three catches, 49 yards. Petrus. Over the middle, seam pass, caught. And more room. What a job. This time, it's Luke Lachey. Here's Petrus, sets up. Crossing route, caught. Arlen Bruce dropped quickly, but he'll gain four yards. Jalen Harrell with the tackle. And finally, we see some life out of this offense. Second and six at the 34. Johnson, the single setback. Laporta in motion. Here's Johnson on the give. Trying to get outside, and it'll be tackled for a loss by Jalen Harrell. Big series here for Iowa. Down 20 to 7. Third and seven at the 35. LaShawn Williams checks in at running back. He'll give it to him straight ahead. Williams first down, Hawkeyes. Nine yard gain on third and seven. First and 10 at the 26. Play fake. Petrus backside. Laporta breaks a tackle. Laporta still running hard, dives forward and gets down to the Michigan 18. Mike Morris had to grab his ankle. But well, what an effort of breaking that tackle in the backfield. I was just going to say the individual effort. It's so tough to run a, a screen against man defense because there's the defender right in the face of Laporta. It swats him away, then gives a stiff arm, and he gets down close to the chains. Unbelievable e individual effort from the best offensive player Iowa has. Second down and three. They'll hand it off. Johnson looking for the first. He won't get it. No gain on the play. Chris Jenkins, first man to it. They're going to feel like they can still run the ball here because we're in four down territory. Uh, limited possessions left in particular with their style. That's why they ran it on the last third down. It was about third and five. They handed the ball off here. Handoff, play action, everything at his disposal. Third down and five at the 19. Here's LaShawn Williams looking for the first, and he has it. Nice cutback by LaShawn Williams, the sophomore from Chicago. Petrus in the flats, has his receiver, and he'll go out of bounds inside the 10, Nico Regani. Nico Regani has really given this team some energy. Second and four at the eight, Petrus caught. Laporta, but he's immediately dropped by Rod Moore. No gain. It's a terrific tackle from Moore. He was in just straight man, and as soon as Laporta broke outside on his route, Rod Moore was flying up from his safety position and was there right when he touched the ball. Beautiful defense. Twelfth play of the drive coming that started at the Iowa 17. Can they pay it off? That's the question. LaShawn Williams back in the backfield. Petrus out of the sunk, out of the shotgun. Petrus with the handoff to Williams, and he won't get the first down. On third and four, he gained two. Well, this feels like the ball game right here. Fourth down. You get the sense they've handoff, handoff, handoff. I think this is time where you get big like this. Couple tight ends, big play action. Watch them trying to sneak the fullback out in the flat. Caleb Johnson, the deep man in the eye formation. Here's Petrus rolling, throwing, and a flag on the play late. Laporta, the receiver, he didn't have enough for the first. Will John standing over him. Pass interference, offense number 10. The penalty is declined. The result of the play, first down Michigan. Timeout. Corum 
And you know Michigan is going to try to run it as much as they can to milk that clock. 5.33 and counting. Second down and eight. Four seconds, it's snapped, and they'll run it. Corum tripped up as he crosses the line of scrimmage. McCarthy will throw it. Sideline, ball deflected, out of bounds. Clock stops at 4-12. And Robbins gets it away. Bruce backpedaling. Has it at the 40. Slips. Regains his footing. Petrus in trouble. And Petrus sacked again. Second sack of the day for Mike Morris. Petrus. And hit as he throws again. Incomplete. Mike Morris again. Here's Petrus. And Petrus dragged down. Again! Look at this Michigan defense. Iowa throwing caution to the win here. Petrus. Hit again. Incomplete. Yabi Oki back to back plays. And this Michigan defensive line coming up huge. Gus, I love the design of that. Individual pass rushing, and then there, a defensive line stunt to get to the quarterback. Here's Corum. Here's Corum. Stays in bounds. Corum over 100 yards rushing. Corum. And Corum, nice in and out move, Blake. Corum, touchdown Wolverines. Oh, he gave him a shimmy shake. No one watching this game feels sorry for Ohio State. <laughs> <laughs> Over the middle, caught at the 45-yard line. Over the middle. Caught at the 40-yard line. And this time it's Alec Wick. Sideline incomplete. That one in and out of the hands of Nico Regani. Personal foul. Roughing the passer. Defense number 91. 15 yard penalty. Automatic first down. Petrus, here comes a blitz. Caught over the middle. Lachey. First down with 29 seconds to go. I just can feel every Iowa fan watching this, and it's like, well, why can they do this now? Would you say Michigan's backed off a little bit? Yes, there's there's no doubt, in particular in terms of their coverage style in the back end, soft coverage. Petrus. In the end zone, touchdown. Lachey. With eight seconds remaining. And a pooch it short. And a knee is taken at the 25. Does not get easier for Iowa after this one. Michigan no turnovers. McCarthy still interception free this season. Corm with his sixth 100 yard game of his career and second in a row. And he leads the nation with 10 rushing touchdowns. Michigan with four sacks today, all in the second half, and numerous other pressures.